Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love buzz and love mothers? It's Mama Love, and I'm back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm standing here next to Mama Mia. Some of you got it. Got the aprons on, y'all. Would have had all colors. You know, I have my red and my white and my blue, but long story. Just got to get some more aprons made. That's all. Because I plan on having a cook off. But we are here today. I brought y'all here today because I want to show y'all what mama is making. She make homemade cakes, y'all. So this is what she making. What you making, mama? We're making a sour cream, lemon sour cream pound cake. And these are her ingredients. And these are your ingredients. You need three of everything. Okay. Except your eggs, you double them. We have three cups of sugar, three butters, three cups of flour, and an eight ounce of sour cream. Cream cheese, rather. I'm sorry. Okay. Lemon, lemon cream cheese. Okay. And that's all you need What's this for right this pound cake. And that's lemon. Lemon abstract. Lemon. Okay. Organic. Okay. Good. And everything is three cups. So that's how simple this is to make this cake. Homemade. Hello. Homemade. This is the lady to make them homemade rolls too. Y'all gonna see. We're gonna make some homemade rolls uh, coming up next. Yes. First thing we want to do is we have to have our pound. This is our pound pan. Yes. And remember, we don't need baking powder because the eggs makes everything rise. Mm -hmm. First thing we're going to do is make sure we spray our pan really good. This is a butter spray I spray. That way, your butter, your cake will always be buttery. Mm. And then you want to take a little bit of this flour right here. And you want to put it in there. And just let that sit for a minute until you get ready for your cake. And you want to put your cake, your um, oven on 350 degrees. I'm going to go over here and preheat. 350. Don't call me now. Where are we? Okay. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to take your butter. Butter and eggs. I mean butter and uh, sugar goes first. Your butter and your sugar. You want to use real butter now, and you can use salted butter because you got to have a little salt to give that cake a kick. Okay. Salted butter? Yeah. Got to have salted butter. But make sure it's butter. Don't use no mud. Okay. What was you saying about the butter? Okay. You want to take your butter and put your butter in first. Okay. And then you want to take, and you have to make sure that you don't use any of your ingredients. Don't be cold. Everything has to be room temperature. See? If you don't do it room temperature, you're you're gonna have a little clunks, clunks in your cake. Okay. So you want to put, make sure this is nice and smooth. And smooth, room temperature. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the beater, and I'll tell you, this cake, you be wanting to eat this cake in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. Every every Trust time me, you honey. think about it, you want some. Trust me, because okay, I Okay, we're going to turn this beater on. Let's see which one you got to do. Okay, you want to do it like this. Okay. You want to get this nice and smooth. Mix it up really good together. Once you get it nice and smooth, you want to add your sugar. And you don't want to just dump the sugar in there because if you take the sugar and dump it too much, what's going to happen is all that sugar is going to come to the top of your cake and it's going to be crunchy like hard. You don't want that. You want to lighten it so that be, when the sugar goes through, it'll be smooth. And you just want to sprinkle your sugar one at a time, three cups. Because you'll have it sandy, it feels sandy. 
I messed up one time and I put the sugar, just dumped it. You can't do it like that. Because if you do, you don't, your cake be hard, you have to cut the bottom off and the top. So you have to do it real easy. And then you want to like sprinkle it. Our next ingredient. There you go. Go round and round. I'm going to hand it, so I'm going to use it right now, so it's in the way. You want to add one egg at a time. One at a time, because you want one egg to color up together. Six eggs. It's the only thing that you double. Everything else is three, three. Okay, now, in here you should have almost a little half of a lemon. Half of a lemon. That's when you pour your lemon in. And your last egg. I would have made the egg and then the lemon, but since I had the lemon there, and that's the last of that one. Okay, I'm back. Now, we're going to add one cup of flour at a time, three cups, until it whips into a nice big cookie cake. Savage. Ready? Let's go. Yay! The reason why you sprinkle it because you don't want no lump in your cake. Now, why do you use the sifted back in the day? Because sifted. Because cake regular flour clumps. Swans is already sifted. That's why this is oh, actually flour. Okay. But this flour here actually is already sifted, so you don't have to sift it. Here it comes. There's another one. Right to the floor. Right, but I want to get the wrong the bowl. I'm going to get you, though. Okay. You keep one of these spatulas. Spatula. 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 Yeah, we want an old fashioned blender. Let me get me one. Yeah, it that way you ain't gotta use your hand. Yeah, it'll do it for you. Make sure you get the size of the bowl. I got a surprise that he, uh, a person, we are gonna say who, who they are, but they're gonna be uh, doing sweet potato pie. Okay, you see the, you see the, you see the mixture now? It's gotta look like whipped cream. And it looks like that. Two more minutes, we should be done. And she'll be in the oven. Like she'll mommy. be ready to go. I'm yeah. sitting down in this chair because I'm about. Now you can taste it like you four, used to. Four inches over her. So she's standing and I'm sitting. Okay, I'll... now we're gonna take it. I put the flour in the crack of the pan so that it don't leak. That's the idea. Then you wanna take this. You wanna go and turn it. You want to go? Trust me, when this cake come out, it's gonna be tall as this pan, and it's gonna be so good and gone. We gonna eat this cake tonight, bro. Good or gone? I got your, I got your uh, uh, holiday. <laughs> These aprons are nice. I gotta worry about messing up my clothes. Yeah. I have to get some more made though. It's just gotta look like whipped cream, y'all. If it don't look like whipped cream, it ain't gonna rise like whipped cream. You can take your, your spatula and you can go around a little bit like that if you like. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna level it off though. It might look crappy right now, but it ain't gonna be in a minute. We're gonna do them homemade rolls from scratch. I'm gonna show you how to do them from scratch. And we're gonna have, y'all ever heard of a pocket rolls? Get all oh, that out of so there good. because we don't like they do on the camera. We don't want to leave nothing. We don't want to leave anything. Not nothing. Okay, now I'm gonna fall on the edge. Look at it. That looks so good. Ain't you gonna get that off the edge? Oh yeah, we're gonna get that off the edge right there. Cause you know that. Oh, that's a piece of cake when it swells up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a piece of cake. We've been trying to make this cake for two days. Okay, now run on the street, roll runner. Now you want to take it? 
your spatula. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you spread it, you know, make it even because you don't want your cake to grow up lopsided. Shake it a little bit. Okay. We got the we got the spray, so we ain't gotta worry about it. And we'll keep it sticking. Okay, now you see how it's half your your cake should be half the pan. That means it's gonna be double the pan when she rises. The eggs makes it rise. There's no baking powder that goes in and no self-rising flour. Whatever you do. Still all right. You have to call uh what's the name? Okay? She's like that. Just like that. And she goes in the oven. And I got this one so it's easier to do. So I want it to slide right out of there. I have those pan. I got that pan so when it's done, I just pull it up out of there. I don't have to dump it and break it and crack it. Okay, she goes in the oven for one hour and ten minutes. One hour and ten minutes, you all. You heard that? One hour and ten minutes. Exactly. And we will come back to you within that hour. <laughs> so anyway, like I was saying, now I got some time to chit chat with you, you all. Taste? How about the taste? No, because it's going to ruin it, Mama. I used to want to eat the cake. Mm, mm, mm. The cake Lord, batter mm. when I was little. Mm. Look, at, look at her. Look at the little. Mm. So like I said, I got some holiday surprises coming up for you all. Um, Got a person that's going to make them sweet potato pies for you. I'm going to make them rolls. Um, I'll be making, like I said, candy yams and um, collard greens and all of that. And I'm going to start that just before Thanksgiving because everybody wants, you know, they, they want their recipes just before Thanksgiving and Christmas, but mainly our Thanksgiving. I never do turkeys. I hate turkey. So, you know. Cornish hens. Let's do Cornish hens. Cornish hens. And I can sit them. Let it run around. And find a dressing? And a dressing? Huh? Or on the side? No, no. You put the. You, yeah. Because I'm it. talking about, like, what? Cornish make, hens and dressing? You make the Cornish hens and set the. Set the uh, well, you put chicken in your dressing and take the Cornish hens. Yeah. And, uh,. Set them on top and let them brown after they're already done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause see, a lot of times people's turkeys dry is because we don't like turkey. I don't cook my turkey on its back because the breast is already dry by itself. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any milk. In it. And I have to keep pouring that base over the top and, of it and all. Right. That. I ain't got time so, for all of that. So I just did well, the chicken. I'm a chicken. Get it? <laughs> well, Reba's always making her own, so. But you'll eat my turkey because when you cut the when you cut the turkey, juice comes out of it because I cook the turkey on its belly like this. I don't cook it on its back because it completely dries. It's already dry. You're right. drying it out more. So right. if you cook it, all the fat in the back, all the grease goes forward and makes your and then when you flip your turkey over to cook, juice yeah. comes out. It's so good. Maybe I should lay on my back and burn the back fat. <laughs> Are you telling me that? <laughs> <laughs> My love bugs know I'm crazy. Love bugs and love muffins. So anyway, I'm gonna have some more aprons made because I had aprons and uh, I don't know. I left out the door with seven and I, I came back with two. two. So I'm just gonna have to have some more made. Um, some red. Um, I know where both of my red ones went. I don't, I don't, however, I don't know where my blue or my white ones are, but. However, I'll have them made, but I'm just having it. Holidays is coming up, and hey, you know, what's up? Let me know. You know, like I said, I got a lot of uh, different ideas for you all, and um, I will be um, is that telling gas? you and showing you all. Gas or electric? That's electric. Okay. So what, that's bad? What do you think? I don't know how to thing. do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just wanted to tell you all that though. I think got some surprises time. coming up, whatever. And um, I'm gonna try to stay tuned because at the end, this cake is gonna be so good. I'm about to put this coffee on for me and Mama. So we're still here drinking some decaf coffee, honey, at nighttime so we can still have our coffee and cake, okay? And we're gonna sit here and watch Queen of the South because that's what we're And Tina and Terrell, I mean, um, uh, uh, Dora and Diego is out exploring the town. So, yes. So, yes. Stay tuned. Here's the baker and the taker. <laughs> this is the pound cake. Slice. slice. Okay, now we're gonna slice it. Oh my God! I don't want to be saved by the bell. <laughs> and then you want to take it. I usually be a flat pan, okay? And there you have it. Oh wow! Look at that! Look at that pound cake. That's a lemon pound cake, y'all. Okay. 
And how about we just sew that slice, Mom? Take that piece of cake, and because it's Philadelphia, <laughs> have a taste. And you want the, the butter. See, the butter goes all on the outside and inside. And mm, mm, mm. Delicious. Mm, it's delicious. When you make this cake, oh my God. you should be able to taste the butter, mm, I do. the lemon, oh my God, it, mm, and the cream cheese. Now, you don't have to make it with cream cheese if you don't want to. You can just leave out the cream cheese. Mm. Look at that piece of cake that we cut it in for like we sharing it. I want my own <laughs> slice, honey. Mmm, mmm. Mm. You know what? Don't don't you make the, the, the lemon drizzle? How do, how do the, the If you like, ice them. Now let me tell you how to make the icing. Mm. I'm the one that don't like icing because I like to taste my cake. Mm. But you take some powdered sugar. So rich. And you add some lemon juice in the powdered sugar and stir it just keep stirring it and then just it'll come into a little glaze like and you just pour it on top of your cake but i rather taste my pound cake now let me tell you this it's warm and it's good but the more that it sits the more the flavor sits and you be want to eat a piece of ice get up a middle of the night eat a slice of pound cake yeah see she she blamed me the middle of the night she said i ate the cake in the middle of the night it wasn't me it was you mom mm, all that mm, time mm. This is so good. Oh my God, y'all. Mm. Pay close attention to this recipe. Because it's a bomb.com. Six eggs, three cups of flour, mm. three cups of sugar, mm. and three sticks of real butter. Not fake butter, not salted margarine. Salted butter. And right. salted. Yeah, I like Land of Lakes butter, and I like um, mm -hmm. uh, Kroger butter, flat mm -hmm. out butter. They don't make butter like they used to. Hurry Remember up. how you used to eat the piece of cake and hide it? Tina and Terrell coming. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed this video. We have many more to come. Comment down below what you want her to make next. Because she's going to be in a video. Like, she's going to make some homemade rolls, y'all. Okay? Homemade Listen, rolls, I'll tell We make, I make homemade rolls like they did back I'm in the, the 60s. I am in the camera. I make homemade rolls like we made back in the 60s. Where you can make the pocketbook rolls, mm -hmm. and then I can also make those dinner rolls that they have in the store. Where you put three balls together, and they come up to three, and you break them up, and they're called buttered rolls. We gotta use a lot of real butter with that one, mm -hmm. and that's from scratch. We gonna make that from scratch. That's like Reva makes her dressing from scratch. And oh, even with the pound cake, if you don't like lemon pound cake, or you can always do the same recipe that we did, but change the flavor. You can have rum pound cake, you can have vanilla pound cake, you can have coconut pound cake, whatever flavor you want, just put it in there. The reason why it tastes like it's lemon pound cake is we mm. use lemon. I bet it'd be so good. With but you can change cake. it anytime you like. Mm. Anytime you like, and you can change it, any cake you want. You can put, have rum cake. Mm -hmm. Oh, rum. and you can also have buttered rum. Can you get drunk off rum cake? No, you can't get drunk off rum cake. Oh. But you can get drunk off some rum. <laughs> and some coke <laughs> how about that mm. yeah this is delicious would you like another piece Reba uh I didn't have a piece we split a piece well of the colder <laughs> the, the colder that it gets to me it's hot oh my god that would be so good but Tina Terrell ate all the vanilla ice cream so. yes you know what would you like, like another piece store. look at that look at the mm. look at the the the, 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 the golden and because See, the, and the, the texture of the, that. The reason why you want real butter, because you want the butter to go on the back. That's the best part. Mm. Help yourself. It's on you, sister girl. <laughs> right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, there'll be many more videos to come. I think that makes me feel like my mom to do. Okay? Yeah. I right. can make, uh, we can make, uh, you ever heard of cinnamon rolls? Homemade cinnamon rolls. We used to make strudel back in the day. I'm been watching Martha Stewart. Okay, look, let me tell you something. Oh, uh, Martha she's taking Stewart a little been cup. watching me. No, no, I'm saying the way she cut. Look, you take one piece and slice it up in little pieces. Like, I know she. We eat at a little, you know. I have to learn how to eat like that. Hey. I take slices, both. Okay. We just doing this for the camera because when we get done, we're gonna tear this cake it's up. Some milk in there. <laughs> some milk in there, okay? <laughs> or I 
I can sit up to the stove and get me some of little ice cream. But I told you I wasn't eating like that no more. But you know, anyway, holiday treats and everything is coming up. We want to make some cookies, cut cut out cookies, cookie cutters. Get some cookie cutters and make different cookies and stuff like that for the holiday. You know, little stuff you could do with the kiddos and all of that type of stuff. But we're gonna be making some grown folk soul food meals. So y'all stay tuned. And like I said. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.